that jacket. Okay. So this is just nonsense. Like you can't just clean up an image or look at something that's very. This is a tough topic to teach in the class. Um, it's, it's an important thing to talk about, especially when we're going to have a problem set that relates to images, um, much like we talked about earlier in the context of photography. But it doesn't really fit. It fits in as much as we need to talk about structures. But it's another one of those like blue boxes in a textbook where like, hey, everyone, here's a slightly related topic, but it's not part of the explicit narrative. Um, the way we justify it ultimately is we want to introduce structs as a stepping stone to more sophisticated data structures altogether. And structs are particularly nice because file in C is a nice data structure underneath right. the hood, um, a data type, in fact, in this case. And then we want to be able for the problem set to play with the world of forensics and images. And so it's always a bit of a stilted thing. But at least the approach we've taken here and with cryptography and with a couple of the other examples one counter in the semester is at least putting them at the end of the lecture kind of as like the setup for what's ahead for students to kind of whet their appetite and give them a sense of excitement for what's on the horizon. So hopefully that makes it work. But I do think this kind of material could potentially even stand on its own and not be part of the lecture per se, but the setup of a certain problem. But even then... But it doesn't have enough to wait to hold up on its own as an independent... Like, you couldn't have a lecture on this. There's, there's only so much Not to, to the extent discuss. that we cover it, right. I think, especially since so much of it is then introduced uh, in a hands-on way through the problem set itself. But I think when we do get to this point in the course and we are talking about images and representation, I, I personally consider this to be a big pivot point for us. Yeah. Like you, we've now gone from a world where all the programs you're writing are, you know, the game of 15 is even a game, but it's still in a text-based environment. Now we're actually starting to work with and manipulate yes, images, which we've been true. hinting at Things for get more a long time. And, so, and I love this abstraction, too, before this disappears. Like, the zeros and ones mapping nicely mm -hmm. to an image, albeit a one-bit uh, colorful image, is pretty cool. And it's not too much of a stretch to then twist this into when we show this as red, and we can reintroduce the concept of, of pixels and structures for triples, because we need three bytes to represent a, um, a pixel and a bitmap, one for red, one for green, one for blue. Absolutely. And this is really also a delivery mechanism at the end of the day for all the silly enhanced videos that are on the internet from TV and Hollywood. Uh, films where if you look closely enough, and this is by far the worst side effect of taking an intro for a computer science course, it like ruins all of TV <laughs> and movies for you. Because any time there is a hacker or some computer threat, like it's usually something silly on the screen. You gotta freeze frame it and, t and pick it apart and you'll find yes. something go goofy in there. And there are some, like The Simpsons does this justice, right? Anytime you pause on a frame of The Simpsons, there's always some clever Easter egg there if there's something on a screen. But in Hollywood, is one of the examples we show, it's just like a cray uh, drawing application when it's supposed to be someone hacking into your systems. Yeah. It's just not the same. Mr. Robot, I will say, comes closer, but even that, I just can't get into it in the way that uh, some people perhaps can. Then again, I get really into uh, Chicago Med. I used to really like ER, and my doctor friends hate that. So. <laughs> So but seriously, if you're ways. ever looking for... Goes around, comes around. If you're ever looking for resources of bad computer science, just turn to Hollywood. They'll be more than happy to give you some... Uh, Thank you for saying Hollywood and not CS50. Some great, <laughs> some great tips. 255, 216.